Hello. Well, this time on Crash Test Dummy TV. <laughs> G'day all. Alright, <clears throat> as you know, rocker covers off and cams I just pulled out. Um, once again, when you're pulling things apart, just write down everything. I mean, I've gone to the point of, uh, you know, wrapping up some bolts and uh, marking them. Um, all the uh, the cam, cam holders were, uh, they're all numbered and they're arrowed forward. But I uh, drew the diagram on the uh, on the cardboard just in case. Uh, what else have I done? Oh, pulled the plugs out. Had a good look down with the torch, and I can see compared to a couple of other a uh, couple of other uh, valves, there's a couple or well, the inside ones on the uh, inlets are uh, sitting in further. So I reckon we've got a build up of. Um, of carbon basically the uh, the valve over time as it's going out and in 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 giggity giggity um, the bit that isn't touching metal like the obviously there's a bit there but you've got a bit that comes out you've got now got this gap just on the base here it'll get a tiny layer of uh, carbon you've always got your valves getting carb coated in carbon uh, whether it's rich or lean, you know, makes a difference. Um, but yeah, over time, the valve moves out further and further, as, you know, it doesn't sit back in properly. So uh, hopefully, cross the fingers, there's no burnt valves. Um, but yeah, pull that one out and cross the fingers, that uh, the two out, and uh, cross the fingers, I can just clean them up and reseed them. Alright, rubber mallet and little mallet. It's pretty much time to take the head off. But I thought I would uh, share, obviously. You don't want to be savage. You just want to be gentle. Gentle. Actually, I don't need to keep these because I know what they're for with my cam sprockets I get gardening twist tie thread it through twice give it a good twist two out of three holes um, that way it's wrapped around enough that it's actually going to hold into the teeth and it shouldn't move that uh, that sprocket at all so where it is it ain't moving next pull these out you know what I think the radio can go off because I don't want them talking on my video. Alright, all my bolts are out. Oh, there's washers there. Get my trusty tool. That pulls all the washers off. Well, it's magnetic. Um, removing a motor by yourself, just prepare for anything. Uh, I, won't, I won't say anything, I mean lightning's not going to strike. Well, it could. You never know. Uh, shit. Well, I'm under wood and I'm wearing rubber boots. Okay, I'm safe for that. <laughs> anyway, um, have a think. Obviously, you're, mo you're pulling a heavy motor out by yourself, so the worst case scenario, you're going to have to let it go. I've already got a... Um, a milk crate set up on the other side which is a little bit higher but uh, I do have to jack the motor up to get it over the uh, the bottom tabs anyway and past the frame um, so I will be checking it up as much as I can um, 
and then do the rest by hand. I was going to lasso the motor, do some sort of rope system so I could, you know, lock it off if I uh, had to let it go. Um, but I've got nothing to tie it to, really. It's the wrong spot for the bloody uh, garage. I needed to do it to the right half a bike length. Anyway, worst case on that. Damn it. Um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'm going to put the helmet down on the uh, little table and film it, so uh, apologies in advance for my bottom being in camera. It is a nice bum. I did have someone say that it was the best bum in uh, Glen Waverley once. Anyway, she was sleeping with me, but whatever. Um, <laughs> so yeah, next we'll be pulling a motor out by yourself. That or uh, how to pull a, how to fail at pull a, pulling a motor out by yourself. One of the two. So drum roll. Ding! all that came out quite easy actually. Now I've seen some ridiculous videos on the internet in regards to taking uh, pulling motors out. Uh, one was uh, laughable. The bike was on its side, lying on its side on the ground um, and the guy dropped it out that way. Now there's bushyard mechanics and there's <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Um, not having a go at him personally, maybe that's uh, his inventiveness but anyway uh, using the frame itself against your shoulder because when you're lifting it up you've got to, you need something to pull against um, to make your arms work more efficiently um, otherwise you, you're pulling yourself closer to it uh, yeah so using the top tube against your shoulder wrap your arms around grab both covers I did grab this cover just to keep it diagonal um, but yeah lifted it straight off onto the milk crate now that is with his, with the head off, the rocker cover off, the cams off, all the oil out. You know, make it light as uh, possible. But anyway, now move the head and put this up on the uh, table. I'm going to make a little cradle for it, um, just to keep it all square and level. Might make it easier when painting. Cool, job well done. Glad it's not a fail video. Anyway, idea of the crate as well is. Uh, Plastic slides a lot easier on the ground. Get under the carpet. Doesn't slide so well on carpet, but anyway. Gives a handle, I suppose. Now, the only thing I regret to begin with was uh, facing the bike this way. Because, yeah, motor had to come out this way, and now I've got to get it past up and onto the bench but anyway I'll get it there you don't need to hear my grunts and groans so I'll uh, end the vid here and um, pick up when it's on the bench all right <coughs> take two all right uh, coughs aside clearing my throat um, motor is out Time to have a look. I think I showed the head on the uh, previous video, but this carbon, oh, it's messy as buggery. I'll try and get as close as I can with the camera. Hopefully you're getting that. There's not lots of crusty bits in there. What the hell was that? The center two cylinders, flaky and thick in other cylinders. Hmm, it's a lot of carbon. Can't be from excess uh, fuel. What I'm wondering is, because uh, it doesn't blow smoke, that's the thing. So what I'm wondering is, I did have this cap on be off before. It's uh, basically the vapors of the uh, of the oil inside the motor need to go somewhere. So. Uh, most modern uh, bikes, they'll recirculate back into the uh, fuel, into the burning system, in through the carby airbox, and uh, get sucked in that way. Um, 
Yeah, I'm just wondering if it's getting too much oil from the carby. Because uh, when I did get it, there was uh, oil buildup in the base of the carby. Which I did, uh, sorry, airbox, in the base of the airbox. Um, the bike hasn't been maintained properly for years. I mean, you can take it to a mechanic and they can change it. To change, no offence on mechanics, there's some really good ones out there. Um, you can take it to someone and they can, uh, you know, change the oil and change the air filter and give it a squeak and a bubble and, a, you know, kick in the tyres and, uh, and send you on your way. Um, but things like, you know, cleaning the airbox itself, you know, uh, little things like that make a big difference because it's going through your engine in the end. So I'll try and get this light a little better just to illuminate... Now, can you see in there? Crusty, crusty. Oh, where's my screw, st screw stick? Oh, can you see that? that? Flaky. Lots of junk. You can see by this one. Some huge ass crusty bloody uh, flakes there. Get it off, get it off, get it off! Hmm, so it's coming from somewhere. My bet's oil. More in a vapour form rather than uh, droplets, because it doesn't blow too much smoke. The head... Not sure if I showed you the head already. Uh, now we'll leave the cameras in there. The head... is messy also. As you can see, it's relatively okay, but it does have, you know, the in, in, well, actually, three cylinders have got a good coating. One cylinder's kind of okay, but the other three are uh, thick as well. Hmm. What's that exhaust side? See, the, uh, I did wonder about the valves holding open. As far as carbon there, there's evidence that they will hold open, so I'm definitely going to have to give it a good good old clean. So we'll see how we go. But anyway, so far, get off. Alright, so far cost at this stage, zero. Um, never costs anything to pull something down, but uh, worst case, you could... Get yourself a tube of, um, get yourself a tube of definitely black elastic for your um, head gasket if you had to reuse it. What else have we got? Muffler cement? No. I know I've got some copper camshaft and engine lube that needs to go in there. Waiting. Loctite needs to go in there, waiting. There's yeah, still some in there. Please don't leak. Um, don't need this. Oh, it's like right here. <laughs> uh, what else have I got? So I can see what I swear I had some copper. Maybe I used it or it dried up. My bet is it dried up. Anyway. Yeah, copper, uh, a tube of copper, um, gasket sealant, cement, I can't remember exactly what it's called, but, um, it's not bad. You could re, you know, smear it on. I wouldn't, I'd get a new gasket, but anyway. Cool. I'm going to love you and leave you here and, uh, Get to the next phase, which will probably be next video. Clean up. Yeah, clean up. Cool. Thanks for watching. Don't be afraid to do it yourself. And when you're out there riding, wear the bloody gear. Cool. Ride safe. See you soon. Bye. You people are pigs! <laughs>